Hey everyone, this is Jay with Weed Warriors. Just wanted to talk to you this week about crepe myrtle bark scale. I'm here at Bellhaven University today because this is where we did some, uh, some research with Mississippi State University over the last couple of years, uh, experimenting with some different insecticides on, how, on uh, what is effective and how long is it effective uh, to treat an insect that affects these crepe myrtles called crepe myrtle bark scale. That's the name of the insect. Um, for those of you, well, in, in right here in this video, you can see one that we did not treat right here. This got blackness all over it, um, and that's from the insect. Uh, it's a black sooty mold, and this is what happens uh, when you don't do the treatment. And this is one of the trees that we did treat. Um, we treated a lot of trees around campus, but this is one of the ones you can just see side by side uh, that this one doesn't have any blackness uh, because it was treated. So. Um, for the rest of the video, I'm gonna come stand by this black one here. Um, and I'll go ahead and give a shout out to those of you who are already on schedule uh, for, with Weed Warriors to get your crepe myrtles treated. Uh, just know that we're gonna plan to get those treated before middle of June. Uh, as long as you get the treatment in the ground and the root zone of the tree, uh, then you're protected for what happens uh, later in the summer. Uh, because what happens later in the summer is really what turns the tree black. Uh, I've personally yet to see um, any crepe myrtles turning black this early in the year. And so we're still confident that as long as we meet that deadline, then you're good to go. Um, and so anyway, uh, for those of you who are not on schedule uh, and are not getting your crepe myrtles treated, I just wanted to let y'all know of what crepe myrtle bark scale is in case... Uh, You've noticed blackness on your trees, um, on your neighbors, family, friends, so forth. Um, so what is crepe myrtle bark scale? Uh, crepe myrtle bark scale is a little bitty, bitty insect. Uh, it's very small. Um, they're not even, for the purpose of this video right now, uh, I could maybe show you some actually. Um, let's bring the video up here while, you, while I'm talking. Um, he's gonna walk slowly. And see if we can get it on the video while I'm show, while I'm talking. I'm gonna put my hat right up beside where there's a whole bunch of little guys up on the branch. Can you see those little white dots on there? They're so small it's gonna be hard for the video to get them, which is just furthering my point and something that I want y'all to understand. Oh, but there's a bunch of little bitty 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 white dots, and those are the little insects, and they just sit there. They don't move. Uh, they're just little bitty white dots, and those are the scale. And scale insects are insects that they just sit still and they, they sit and they feed the sap. They suck the sap and they just sit there and they sit still and they don't move uh, for all intents and purposes. Um, and they just sit there. And it's not a problem right now, but the reason why they become a problem later in the summer is because they start exponentially growing in their population to the point to where you know, it'll cover the tree in blackness, but not just the tree, but everything under it, especially if you have other plants, you know, like azaleas or other shrubbery, sidewalks, I've seen vehicles, I've seen rooftops. If you notice blackness under a crepe myrtle on a rooftop, that's almost definitely crepe myrtle bark scale. Um, just for the record, there is another insect that feeds on crepe myrtles that can cause blackness called aphids, uh, but we get calls pretty much every day and I'll say 99% of the time, it's gonna be 99.9% .9 of the time, it's gonna be crepe myrtle bark scale. We've seen very, we've had very few, few phone calls, like literally a handful in the last uh, four or five years of, uh, that were actually aphids. Anyway, crepe myrtle bark scale, um, that's what it is. It came in from, uh, well, let's talk about how, how we do the treatment. So what we do, um, and homeowners are able to do this as well um, if, if you have that kind of aptitude or desire. Uh, but there's a drench, an insecticide drench that you can put on the roots. Um, and the key is just to make sure you put enough uh, out, right? Not too much, not too less. And the roots will absorb the insecticide. And so anywhere on the tree that the insect feeds, it absorbs, it uh, ingests that insecticide and it kills the insect. And so our treatments, they last for a year. Um, a little backstory to help you understand, you know, is this something that I'm going to have to do every year? It, it's helpful to understand that this insect 
is from another country from China. Uh, crepe myrtles are originally from China. And so the insect crepe myrtle bark scale, um, I can't remember exactly how long ago. Um, let's see, this is 2022. I want to say it was around 2010, but that's definitely not the year. But around that time, it came to uh, America, to Dallas, Texas. And from there, it just started really uh, growing and spreading over the southeastern United States. It got here into the Jackson area close to 2017. Um, and uh, anyway, knowing that it's it came from china can help to know that since it's here there is no biological control there's no other bird or insect that keeps it in check and so the only treatment that is available to keep it in check is an insecticide treatment uh yes ladybugs help reduce the population but so far i've yet to see ladybugs control it in a way that prevents the blackness prevents it from getting on other things um Yes, oil sprays work, but oil sprays are super uh, temporary in nature. Um, and for a big tree, it takes a lot and it gets all over everything. And so uh, oil spray is just a temporary, like just to get them for, you know, the next two or three weeks. Um, but an insecticide helps to keep them away, to, to treat them and to keep them away. But uh, right now, the recommendation is to treat them every year until there's some other biological control uh, method that comes along. Um, and um, we are expecting just for what it's worth for the record at some point to possibly get some resistance issues uh, right now we've yet to see that it could be years from now no one knows how long um, but our treatments are guaranteed with that you know outside of that caveat that yes at some point uh, we do believe the insect could very possibly get resistant to the treatments um, that's maybe, you know, that's a whole nother side tangent that would need a whole nother video to talk about. But for right now, we've had complete success with our treatments. We've never uh, had any complaint or any uh, known failure of our treatment. So it works very well. Uh, we're very excited about it. We've been treating them for several years now. Uh, if you're interested in getting yours treated, please let us know. We'll be glad to. And um, as always, we greatly appreciate your business and, and are here to help. So if you have any questions, let us know. Thank you.